Jordan, I'm an application engineer at Trimex Solutions. And today on a special Halloween edition, we're going to talk about using Wild Mints to create uh, crafts for your kids. So this is leveraging your SolidWorks knowledge to bring home and uh, spend some time with your kids. So in a previous video, we created a popsicle stick Wild Mint profile. You may have been wondering why we did that. Um, so here's the real reason. We're obviously going to be doing some crafting, so we need some crafting materials. So I'm going to go ahead and create the weldment feature, and then add this structural member in, and it will default to where I just created that popsicle stick in the last video. So we're, when we look at a large weldment like this, um, we look at groups specifically. So what a group is, we want to keep in mind, um, I can't select, say, this line out here and this line if they don't connect. So, selecting this line and the center line, it's not going to work. We need things that are going to actually be able to be welded together. So, that's what groups allow us to do. You know, we could obviously weld this entire circle around. Uh, but that's that's the idea of groups here, is that we're going to create groups of weldments, so groups of things that we're going to weld together. So the first thing that we're going to weld together, welding in this case being uh, probably hot glue, is just this cross section here. So we're going to grab that first one. If I try and grab the second one, we see that it intersects through the middle here. So there's no real way to get that weld in there. So we're going to have to create a new group. We'll see that in this group, it's actually broken that weldment up. And it's going to allow us to weld those two pieces together. So we'll just continue on this way, creating new groups. And once we have all these groups created, it's the last one we can do all at once. We'll have what looks like the basic outline of a spider web here. Not the best one in the world, but we're using popsicle sticks, so what can you ask for? So we are going to just hide the sketches there, just to clean things up a little bit. So obviously this um, looks a little sloppy. To clean it up a little bit, what we're going to do is just a full round fillet on each of these edges. So under Features, Fillet, we want this full round fillet here at the end. So we select one face, right click, next face, right click, and the next face. And that'll give us that popsicle stick look. Uh, luckily, I have already done this, so here is the completely filleted web. Mm -hmm. 